I'm really excited to be back in my hometown Sydney today shooting with one of my best friends in the world, Elsa Morgan. She's the makeup director for L'Oreal Paris based here in Sydney, Australia. And she's gonna share with us some tips today on creating some of the high fashion looks she creates in the runway shows all across the world. So Lydia's skin is completely perfect to start with, but even backstage at the shows with these models who are absolutely flawless to start with, you still need a little bit of something just to kind of polish it up and these days in fashion it's it, that dewy sort of beautiful natural skin has be, has sort of evolved into a bit more of a polished modern woman so the the finish and the textures the formulations of foundations have allowed us to get a more polished effect uh, without looking heavy so they still have a little bit of luminosity to them but there's good coverage where needed so I just started at the center of the face and then just blend it out very very surely and then once I've finished, completely finished, then I go to powder just to sort of uh, knock out that shine at the T-zone. Possibly set it a little bit, but I would never do that right now. I would wait and powder right at the end. So Lydia is um, a fresh-faced model who's just beginning her career and we're really excited to have her because I think she's going to do huge things in her career. So you're just doing a little contour now? Yeah, just to chisel a little bit of a stronger cheekbone. And to, ha to find that cheekbone, it's really, if you feel the bone uh, on your face, it's that hollow right underneath, and you just build a little bit of a deeper colour than your natural skin tone, probably no more than two shades, up until the apple of the cheek and no further down. So now I'm just going to curl the lashes, and really this is one of the most uh, underrated beauty steps, and every girl really should have an eyelash curler, because even if you're doing a really natural look or even, you know, something, you know, quite full on there, if you don't curl the lashes first, you're just not going to get that beautiful, gorgeous, thick, floaty lash that you want at the end. So what's next? So next are the eyebrows. I tend to do the eyebrows first if I have an idea about what I'm doing because it gives me a sense of the balance of the face. So once I finish the brow, for instance, if I was doing a liquid liner, I'd know where my invisible line is in a way. It would be from the underneath of the eye here to the end of the brow and if I haven't finished a brow, if I might want to extend that brow, I need that line there first. So I always do the brows first and then move on to the rest of the face. So Elsa, do you have any tips on creating the perfect strong lip? Yeah, the best way to go about it is to get your lipstick on just straight from the tube or however you like to and then um, blot with a tissue and then come back to it with the same lipstick and then you can go over with a matching liner just to kind of polish up the edges, but really that blotting in between two applications is the best. 